All right, so we are back, and I feel like it's been a while. I don't know why. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a while. Oh, I got a new camera, so make sure we get my good side. What the fuck is wrong with me? But anyway, today we are back, and we are covering the one topic that just doesn't seem to die. The X-Men Origins Wolverine of YouTube Boxing Talk. I am, of course, referring to the Jake Paul and KSI fight. That's right, Jake Pauler, shot caller in the UK, rocking a turtleneck that looked like it cost him $1. He was doing some interviews to build up the Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor fight this week. He was asked some questions about KSI and Tommy Fury, and he basically said he's not interested in those fights, and they're probably never gonna happen. I'm willing to bet he's right. But before we get into why, there's another thing you guys should bet on, and that is we are live streaming UFC 271 this Saturday, Israel Adesanya. Robert Whitaker, and if you want to bet on that card and a lot more, make sure you use our sponsor for today's video, MyBookie. That's right, guys. MyBookie.ag is the spot to be if you are betting on fights this weekend. And remember, use code Wade when you sign up, and you will get up to $1,000 in deposit match bonuses that you can use on UFC 271. Like I said, Israel Adesanya, Robert Whitaker, the rematch that we all wanted to see the two best at middleweight. But also, we have the Super Bowl this Sunday. I'm taking the Rams to win it. You guys can bet on the game using MyBookie. Prop bets, the money line, anything you want on those sports and others. Again, using promo code Wade when you sign up. And remember, please, if you are going to gamble, you need to be of legal age and please do so responsibly. Thank you to my bookie for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys Saturday, but for now, let's get back to the breakdown. All right, so let's get into this. Jake says he's never fighting KSI or Tommy Fury, and I believe him, kind of. Here's why. The breakdown Let's go. All right, so first off, we got to rate Jake's drip. I've already said he's got the Dollar Tree turtleneck on. I don't know what brand that is, but I'm assuming it's something that you guys wear that I'm too boomer to fucking understand. And I'm going to need someone to explain to me why this denim coat he's rocking is laced with Adobe font presets. I don't understand any of this. Anyway, let's hear what he had to say. You're in the UK. Tommy Fury's always linked to you. KSI's always linked to you. What has to happen from these guys for you to get in the ring with one of them? For them to show up, <laughs> both of those fights have, I think, lost steam. Tommy's just sort of only around and talked about because of me, but he needs to go and get another fight under his belt, maybe fight Tyron Woodley. Same thing with KSI. It's like, yo, we've been talking about this shit for years. It's never probably going to happen. All right, so Jake says Tommy and KSI just need to show up. Listen, Jake's right here. Both guys are not showing up, and for different reasons, right? Yes, Tommy pulled out for the rib injury, and, and we all know about that, but this is the biggest payday that Tommy possibly could or will ever make. And I'm not saying that Tommy should go and beg and grovel at Jake's feet. No, I'm not saying that. But why was Tommy not there? They're in the UK, and Tommy's taking a vacation in Dubai. What the f are you doing? You go on Ariel Hawani and you say you want that fight, but then Jake shows up in the UK. You have a golden opportunity to show up there, talk some shit, just create some sort of excitement for this fight. But instead, he hopped on a British Airways flight to Dubai to take a vacation from his vacation. Like, wh what is he taking a vacation from? I don't know, but it's a flat fucking miss from Tommy here. And on KSI's side, listen, I've told you guys this many times. I don't think this fight is happening. The reason this thing isn't happening is what Jake has said. KSI will not show up. And he's right. KSI will even admit the same thing. He is so busy with these other projects or whatever else he's doing. So unless he takes six to nine months and goes and fights three, four, five times, whatever it is, against people with maybe no name and behind closed doors and just getting that work in, he would still then want to go and fight a big name like Austin McBroom, who again is nowhere close to the skill level of Jake Paul. Say he wins that fight, now we're talking about a year down the line, maybe a year and a half to two years down the line, and at that point, considering Jake's activity level, he would probably have two to three to four more fights against better competition than KSI has seen. KSI and Jake are nowhere on the same timeline anymore because of how much Jake has done and trained and worked and won in boxing and how much KSI hasn't. And by the way, I've said this before, this isn't about who's ducking who. Like Jake wants to say KSI is ducking him. That's not the fucking case at all. KSI seems like he's happy doing what he's doing and to drop everything and get punched in the face for probably decent money, to be fair. To do so just out of nowhere is probably not something that he is willing to do to give up the time and effort he's putting into all these projects that he's built, just like Jake has in boxing for years now. These two guys have put themselves on paths that are going in opposite directions. That is why this game of catch-up, no, I'm not talking about your condiments with the mustard and the pickle. I mean KSI trying to gain levels to meet Jake's 
I don't know if it's ever going to happen. First things first, thank you for coming down to London. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Shout out to London. Shout out to the UK fans. Shout out to the uh, fans here who um, like me and not KSI because apparently everyone here talks shit about KSI. I don't know. That's the rumor on the street. What? <laughs> I know that was him trying to get under KSI's skin again, but the same people he's talking to face to face that say that they hate KSI are probably the same people that gave him the fucking herpes on his lip. I'm just saying, those are the type of people you're dealing with. There's two more from me. Maris Breedis, the IBF cruiserweight. Oh champion. no, man, not Maris Breedis. This is the guy that got a tattoo of Jake, and I think the same guy that did a diss track on Jake, if I'm not mistaken. Let me let this play, and I'm gonna explain how that was the dumbest thing any real pro should ever do. People people begging me for fights, Tommy begging me for fights, uh, this guy, Mario. He called him Mario. See what I'm saying? This is why you don't do this shit. One minute, you're cruiserweight champion of the world, the next, you get a tattoo of Jake, they bring it up, and he calls you fucking Mario and Luigi. Like, I, ugh. People have to understand the difference between calling Jake Paul out and trying to be different in this boxing scene and just placating to what Jake wants people to do. Beg him. It's the same energy Conor McGregor gave off in his heyday. Beg me, right? How many fighters in the UFC begged for Conor? Everyone that's done that looks like a fucking idiot because you're never going to get that fight. Jake is never going to fight this guy. And what he just did is made the cruiserweight champion of the world look about that big compared to a guy that's been boxing for three years against people that don't box. All right, so there's one last thing I want to watch. There's an interview with Talk Sport with Jake and Eddie Hearn in the same room. They're talking about Jake's future in boxing, and some interesting points came up. So let's take a look. It, it would have been worse for Tommy Fury. He, he can't take a punch like Tyron, so he's lucky that fight didn't happen. And I was ready to fight the pro boxer. You know, I had a... Um, poster up in my gym of Eddie actually it says when are you gonna fight a real boxer and I look at it every day while I'm training because <laughs> he was one of the first people to say it look at that fucking shitty grin right there on Eddie's face that mug's red as a fucking tomato when is Jake going to fight a real boxer it's 100% fair to go out and ask that question Jake did try Tommy did pull out but the question will still remain until Jake fights that pro boxer I, I know I could become a world champion because I spar against world champions and uh, you know I have great coaches and an amazing team around me and I'm I have a giant chip on my shoulder I have a giant chip on both shoulders here's the thing Jake says he wants to be a world champion he knows he's going to be a world champion because he spars against world champions and he has great coaches and he has a two chips on both shoulders or he has a chip on one shoulder that somehow reaches across the other he has a big fucking boulder on his shoulder all that stuff is great but at the end of the day, it's going to come down to where is Jake's talent level maximized? Just like we talked about with KSI being behind the eight ball, having to play catch up. Jake is doing that. And, and while he is gaining levels quickly at cruiserweight, which I'm assuming he would be, it'd be a tough ask for him to go up and, and get a legitimate world championship starting this late in his career. Jake can work his fucking ass off and he's doing that. Jake can bring in all the pros and, and world champs to spar and they will get him better. But to what level? World championship level? I highly doubt it. Eddie, could he become our champion? I don't think so. But he likes proving people wrong. I'm not going to lie. Fair. You know, I mean, uh, like, but I just, there are so many great fighters out there and you can't just turn to boxing and become a world champion. He will try to prove us wrong. I think, but, I think boxers are easier to fight than MMA fighters. They're more predictable and they don't hit as hard and they can't take as big of a punch. And this is where I call bullshit. That point that Jake just made that boxers are easier to fight than MMA fighters, I, I don't know what he means by that. In a boxing ring, he's absolutely flat out fucking wrong. When MMA fighters come over to the boxing ring, Jake has said this himself, they don't have as much skill developed in a boxing ring, offensive and defensively, thus making them one or two dimensional. He said this out of his own mouth. He said it about Ben Askren. He was fucking right. He said it about Tyron Woodley. He said it about Nate Diaz, Jorge Masvidal. He has to be talking about people he's sparring because he hasn't fought any boxers and wouldn't know that that's the case. But to say top boxers on the highest level aren't as good fighters as MMA in boxing is stupid. Partly with you, sometimes I don't know whether you're being serious or not. Like when you talk about Canelo Alvarez, you know, being I mean, dead serious. But you either, yep. you either have... I'm my mom's life, I'm being serious. That what? You can beat him? That I can contend with him three years from now, yes. Okay. Here's the thing that people like Eddie and this girl right here don't understand about Jake. He has a blind, almost bordering on insane belief in himself. And 
it's a fucking good thing. This is one of the things I admire about Jake. As much as I throw my jokes around and I'll call Jake out when he says dumb shit, I will 100% stand by his belief in himself. No, he will not ever compete with Canelo on a level that he thinks. But for him to say I will and to say I can do that in three years, it makes him grow at a rate that others won't when they limit themselves on where they think they can be. For example, if a boxer wants to be a world champion, that's all he thinks about, world champion, world champion, then he gets that world championship, what's next? Most guys can readjust that and, and may, okay, I want to defend my title X amount of times, I want to do this, do that, but some guys don't, and they reach a certain plateau because that's all they've ever envisioned for themselves. Jake doesn't do that. So no, in my opinion, he's not ever going to compete with Canelo or have the skill to do so, but by believing in his mind, he can do those things, he will get to a level that most people would say he never should be at. All right, so there you have it. You hear Jake saying it, the fight, especially with KSI, I gotta be honest, guys, I don't think that fight's ever going to happen. And not saying that it can't, but I just don't think it ever will. As far as Tommy Fury goes, uh, yeah, I think that's the most competitive fight Jake can have. The thought process behind Jake is he needs to build his name. He pulled out of the first fight. I don't owe him any favors. So at the end of the day, I think that's where we leave it. As we head out, I know you guys are gonna have some strong opinions about this. Do you think that Jake and KSI ever happens. And if not for that fight, when or if does Tommy Fury happen? At some point around July or August, Jake is going to need an opponent. Who will it be? Not KSI. <laughs> but other than that, I guess we'll find out.